Guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Daniel Rosal here. For today's video, I want to talk about the differences, the pros and cons between desktop-based video editor and cloud video editors. Now, what is firstly a cloud video editor? So I just did a review of an interesting cloud video editor and that was what actually gave me the idea to make this video. Um, there's some like uh, Flixier, for example, they've been on the market for a number of years now. And the easiest way to understand it, if you haven't heard about them, it's basically SaaS, software as a service. The software is delivered through a online subscription that's accessed via a web browser. Now, if you want an analogy, think about checking your email via one of those old school email clients versus simply logging on to Gmail or creating a document as a Google Doc in your Google account versus doing it using Microsoft Word or LibreOffice or whatever else takes your fancy. So that's the difference. When we're talking about online video editors, we're talking about video editors that are delivered in the cloud. The software is loaded into a cloud computer that you can access via your web browser. You don't have to actually install any software on your local computer. All you need is a web browser to log in and access it. Now, if I were to take a guess, I don't have any numbers specifically to back this up, but if I were to guess the percentage of professional video editors who are using one of these cloud video editing platforms for their day-to-day -day usage versus using industry standard video editors such as um, DaVinci Resolve or uh, you know Adobe Premiere or even uh, you know the open source equivalent of Caden Live, I don't really think it's happening. I think it must be a vanishingly small minority. Now, the reason I think that these SaaS video editors haven't kind of um, become default even among more casual video creators uh, is probably got to do with the fact that they have a bit of a constraint regarding bandwidth because if we're doing something like uploading a document to the cloud or working on a cloud document we're typing away at our computer and we're uploading tiny tiny amounts of data to the cloud so when you work on a word document in something like google as a google doc it's a pretty seamless experience for the end users. There's no real latency. You just see your doc being created. Now, the problem with video is that video as a file is just a lot heavier than text, right? Even a video file of a few seconds could be 20 or 30 megabytes, depending on the codec you're using and depending on the quality. So therefore, if you don't have a really, really good internet connection, you're gonna have to get your files up to the cloud some way, right? When you begin working on a video project, typically whatever video editor you're using, the first thing people do is load files from their camera, import them to their computer and point to a folder on their video editor saying, this is the folder I'm working with for this video project. Now you might have 10 or 20 gigabytes worth of video in that folder. Now that's great, but if we want to do the same process in a cloud video editor, we're going to have to upload that 20 gigabytes of data to the cloud, right? The data, those videos, is not magically going to jump from your office to wherever the cloud video editor is being hosted and make itself available. So that's why I personally haven't used them as much as I would like to because my internet upload speed is slow, but there are still a lot of people out there with pretty asymmetrical internet connections and it's just not really a runner to be able to use cloud video platforms for this purpose for this reason now the advantages of uh, cloud video editing platforms they're terrific for collaboration and for mobility right if you use a cloud video editing workflow and you upload your raw clip library to the cloud you work on the timeline you make your edits it can be basically like working on a google doc with three or four collaborators you can be all logged in to this video editor making tweaks to the timeline from different accounts it also means of course that because your video project lives in the cloud rather than your computer it's really easy to access it from literally any computer that has an internet connection on the world you can start working on it from your office you can take a flight to a different city and continue where you left off and there's one final advantage of cloud video editing platforms and that's again got to do with the fact that they live in the cloud because they live in the cloud publishing to other clouds tends to be very easy so it's very very common in fact i haven't yet seen a video an online video editor that doesn't have an integration with youtube now the reason that cloud to cloud publishing tends to be quick 
is that these cloud video editors are provisioned on computers that are basically have much better internet connections than your average home user. So moving from that computer up to YouTube tends to be much more quick than moving from your computer. One final big advantage is that when you are working on cloud video editing platforms, you are running, your, you're doing your video editing on a computer that is uh, somewhere else in the world, right? And what that means is that cloud, because of the economies of scale that are realized when uh, cloud computing happens, whether we're talking about document editing or anything else, those cloud video platforms can um, give users access to much more powerful machines than they might have available themselves. If you're working in you know, something like 4K video or even 6K or 8K video, dealing with that kind of file size and rendering that can require a lot of compute power or GPU power versus when you're using uh, something in the cloud, you can take a really, really old laptop and be able to actually do the video editing do the video rendering on a supercomputer because you're not actually working on the computer in your in your studio or in your office. That's just kind of a front end to the actual computer you're doing the video editing on. Now, by contrast, the con of cloud video editing, well, you're basically putting up putting all your video editing projects into the hands of someone else's product that you're going to have to pay for to retain access. Now, this isn't a disadvantage of just cloud video editing platform it's a disadvantage of cloud computing generally there is a loss of control inherent in putting your stuff up to the cloud and you have to really hope that the cloud provider is trustworthy and doesn't lose your data or you might find that the price has changed and you can't afford it anymore so that's called vendor lock so there's definitely you know significant disadvantages as well i thought i would put together this quadrant if you're looking for more detail on which is better in which circumstance. Now, the very kind of top level uh, advice I would give to someone as well, if you're looking for, if you need advanced video editing features, you need speed ramping, you need excellent color grading, uh, you need advanced audio waveform, you know, spectrography and editing, you'd probably be better off right now using a traditional offline desktop video editor. I've yet to see a cloud video editor that gave a desktop program a run for its money or that outdid it in terms of features. They tend to be simplified, pared down versions of desktop video editors. However, if you're a more casual video creator and editor, you're just looking to create some vertical video clips for distribution on Instagram or Facebook or LinkedIn, one of these online video editors that makes it very simple, that hooks into a stop library and you can publish to YouTube at the click of a button without having any files on your computer, that may actually be a much better fit for you. So it really, really depends on today what kind of video you're creating, what your use case is. Tomorrow or in 10 years time, we might find that the online video editors have matured to the point that you can create Hollywood movies on them. We're not just there yet. Now, uh, just to kind of recap um, on the pros and cons for offline or desktop video editors, the pros are that they are rich in features. Um, you know, uh, they can stuff a lot of features and not worry about how quickly the features and the menus are going to load because it's all running on your local computer. So today for feature, if you're really concerned about feature richness and getting the cutting edge video editing features you need, desktop software remains remains the way to go. One other advantage here is that there is none of the online editing software so far have got enough traction in the video editing market that they can be kind of an advantage. I've never seen someone put on their resume, oh, I know how to edit in Flixier, right? It just doesn't happen. Whereas knowing DaVinci or knowing Premiere and even getting certified in it, I'm not sure there is such a thing as certification, maybe there is, but you know what I mean? It's a skill, it's an industry standard that you can carry around with you to different employers, etc. You're not gonna have that if all you know is how to use a cloud editor. Now the cons of offline desktop video editors, collaboration is harder. It's really easy to collaborate in the cloud because your data is being stored in a central, always online point. That's basically the advantage of cloud computing. Um, and that's a lot harder. It's it's not that you can't collaborate if you're working in a desktop environment, you can. And uh, local editing workflows where the projects are stored on NESs are very commonplace. 
Um, it's just more complicated than just saying, okay, we all need to sign up for, for accounts on our cloud editor and we can just log in. Learning curve uh, can be steep for these offline editors because they're more powerful machines and local storage can be a constraint. Don't forget that one of the advantages of cloud video editing and cloud computing generally is you're storing stuff in the cloud. So you don't need to worry about how much disk capacity you have versus um, if you're doing it in the cloud, really depends how much they give you, but you can upgrade because the infrastructure required to do video, to do video editing is being professionally managed in the cloud. Again, these aren't video specific. These are just general cloud computing advantages and they apply also in the case of video. Now, if we look at cloud or SaaS video editors to wrap this up, the pros and the cons. Pros are it's super convenient, right? It's like a Google Docs style thing. You just log in and edit your timeline and publish to the cloud. Very, very easy. Collaboration is easy, as I mentioned. And finally, as I mentioned, we have cloud to cloud integrations are possible because you're editing in the cloud. So you can get super fast rendering because you're editing on a supercomputer and you can get super fast cloud publishing because you're editing in the cloud. Two significant advantages. Cons, your upload speed can be a deal breaker, right? As I mentioned, my upload speed is bad. So I basically have done a few test projects on these cloud editors. I was very happy with the editing capabilities but it's just not a runner for me because it would take way too long for me to upload all my raw clip libraries I do on every shoot to the cloud. Finally, as I mentioned, uh, you've got ongoing SAS charge and a lack of control. Again, not specific to this, but definitely something that uh, might be a deal breaker for even organizations who have data governance policies that say, we need our data, whether it's video data or client documentation to live in servers we control or that are in this jurisdiction. And when you're, edit when you're doing stuff in the cloud, you're giving your data up to a third party, you lose that control for sure. Hope this comparison is useful. Um, I do think they both have their place. And my big prediction, of course, is that we're gonna see these online cloud video editors really, really get a lot better as bandwidth continues to improve around the world. It's gonna become more viable and more attractive for folks to do their video editing in the cloud rather than on their local computers. Thank you guys for watching. Hope this video was informative. If you do wanna get more videos from me about tech and other subjects, do please consider subscribing to this YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.